Ah, it was the Nurgle team that just got um, accepted. So, ah. hopefully he'll come back. <laughs> ah, here he is. <laughs> he crashed. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't even make the connection of Sinity being in the chat and then that being by Sinity. But yeah, I have read the rules. Glorious. Yeah, claw. Guard, guard, mighty blow, block. Show hands, wrestle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's tough, and it's tough to make a good Nurgle team. And whereas, obviously, Wood Elves look amazing, but um, you never know. You never know what might happen. I mean, the mighty blows could play pay off. The claw could pay off, killing the tree. Necessary, Sinity. It's not. It's not a dead skill. Um, of course, as a plan A, you're carrying on the uh, sure hands. But you know, as uh, last game, Shawnee, um, the claw makes me not want to put the tree on the line, doesn't it? You know, that's you know. Obviously, the primary ball carrier's got sure hands, but um, it might happen that you know you have to carry with somebody else. In which case, the strip can be used, or it could turn me over and only be able to recover with a guy who doesn't have sure hands. So the strip isn't completely dead, but yes, obviously, obviously this the. the it's a lot worse when the opponent when the opponent has sure hands. They're in a lot better position than if they don't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go for the Inarian special here. Also, tackle. Tackle is dead. That's true. Okay. Tackle is a dead skill. Like 100% dead. So, you know, that you cannot, you cannot argue with the tackle being completely dead. It's just that the strip ball is, uh, is a bit shit. Maybe put both dodges on the line. This 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 percentage wise is probably ridiculously skewed in Woody's favour, but you know, anything can happen, can't it? There's a big strength advantage there. There's some guard. There's foul appearance. So if I had to play Nurgle in Naftani, what build would I do? I, it's something I've never thought about, to be honest, Red Joker. It's something I've honestly given zero thought to. Um, I guess I would try and get a third reroll somehow. Be it through leader or otherwise. The claw beast is a fine, fine thing. But. Yeah, I wouldn't be happy about it. I'd much rather go Chaos. Because Nurgle just don't get... Don't get the level of... Um, like, the level of progression you need to outdo Chaos at all, really, I don't think. 
so I think I'd want three rerolls though. Kinda gotta go show sure hands on a on a pest to go because of war dancers. Oh, Dodge would have saved him. No oh, man, really, really thought about putting the dodge there, and he would have been, he would have been standing instead of KO. Three D TBH panels. Claws a good shout on the beast, otherwise I'd just stick the tree on him and he'd be fucked, wouldn't he? Dirty player of the reserve, fair enough. Don't like fouling a stun player though. Right. We blitz him and uh, cordon off the team. Does he got two though? I don't know. Not great, I really wanted a GFI there, but didn't want to risk failing. No, I'm not saying the foul's wrong, it's just I'm just saying I wouldn't do it. I mean that's that's the thing, isn't it? It's not as if it's not as if everything I say every decision I would make is right. Yeah, you are, Sean. You've made it. You've made two more fouls than I would have made in our two games together. I mean, blitzing, fouling the war dancer is like that's that's another reason to not foul here, isn't it? Is 
sure he's fouling a uh, a dodge movement seven agility four dodge player, which there's a lot to be said for fouling an agility four dodge player, movement seven dodge player. However, there are war dancers on a wood elf team, and when you've got even though you've got twelve players, when you've got uh, when you've got war dancers, you could be fouling. It's a bit. Um, it's a bit disappointing to not be following the war dance, isn't it? Like, if, if, it, if his dirty player had got fouled, got sent off there, and then next turn I double wand a war dance dodge, he'd be like, shit, why didn't I keep my dirty player for the war dance? I don't know what his player is here, like some kind of handoff or pass? Or a non cage. Going for the pass. Grabs it. No problem. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Double GFI to hit with him. Or just dodge and GFI with him. See, funnily enough, strip ball could definitely be a thing here. If it wasn't two GFIs to hit, I'd go for this block and then run and hit with strip ball. This is amazingly not being counted. Um. Right, so this be a dodge and a GFI. This is this one's just a dodge, isn't it? That's I think the easiest way I can get the assist on. There you go, see? War dancer on the ground. <laughs> um, Two dice. Gotta tag him, haven't I? So he doesn't, um, he can't foul so easily. I can use my real hard double GFI it here, but he can't score this turn, can he? So. Yeah, that's the thing, like, even though obviously 
sure hands counter strip ball, the ball isn't always going to be on the sure hands guy. Whereas tackle really does have the opportunity to be a dead skill, doesn't it? Like dodge, even if your unless your opponent has eleven tackle, even dwarves dodge can still do something. But um, tackle is pretty much the only skill that has the potential to be a completely dead skill. Is it the only skill that is completely can be completely dead? I believe it is. I believe it is. Beast roll a lot. <laughs> He's had three dice as an only push. Mm. Ah, yeah, there you go. Dauntless, Claw. Yeah, okay. Brilliant. By completely useless, whatever happens in the match. So, yeah, Claw and Dauntless. I mean, however, you're not going to take... You're not going to take Dauntless. Well, no, you... How, it's really rare for Dauntless to be dead, isn't it? Because you're not going to take it on a strength 4 player. So, the only time Dauntless would be dead would be t playing an all strength 3 team, which would essentially be high elves, dark elves, pro elves, Amazons. And it would also be kind of hard for... Uh, Claw to be dead because it's really only Amazons. Amazons would be the, pretty much the only team that that would be dead on. So you're much more likely to end up with uh, Tackle as dead as a dead skill. Hmm. Could blitz that way with a tackle guy. No, not anymore. They used to. Dauntless and Horns used to work together. But uh, no longer. He actually could beat me up, couldn't he? Because he could get. It would only take three assists to make it a two dice, so I think not following is the safer play. No, yeah, that's a good point, Easy Alley. Yeah, it probably hasn't been fixed. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, they used to, they used to stack, but not anymore. Clapman TV. So realistically. Amazons or teams with injuries are the only team where claw would be a dead skill. So while claw can be a dead skill, it's very, very, very rarely a dead skill. Very rarely. There are a few strength three teams, aren't there? Like, you know, humans could just not use a an ogre and stuff. Yeah, it was a bit shit that he got hit, wasn't it? And he's a dirty player in him as well. Fuck. Plus, plus one foul on dirty player. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have dodged away with a fucking catcher. Oh, man.
Well, it's not much better than dead, but it's still not dead. <laughs> you know? That's the thing, whereas tackle, if your opponent has no dodge, literally does nothing. This tackle is not a skill for this game, is it? I've only got five skills this game. Hey, sent off. Good ref. Has he stuck a... Oh yeah, I thought he might have stuck a rotter on him, but he hasn't. Um, could serve him. Probably sitting on a cage up around here, don't I? Ah, yes, true. True. Glorious. Run some dice today, boys. Ah, oh, failed power appearance. Most bread skill. <laughs> yeah, like obviously a lot of skills are quite useless, like Hail Mary Pass and and like, you know, obviously you can only use one horns a turn and there's a lot of skills with diminishing returns. Nerves of Steel is rarely very useful. Dump off's very, very rarely useful. Catch and Dauntless are rarely useful, but that's why that's what I hate about dodge and tackle that that like dodge is so good. It's like absolutely top three, no question. Top three skills are block dodge guard. And it's no doubt a top three skill. And yet, there's a skill that counters it sometimes, but other times it does nothing. I just think that's shit. I just think tackle should have a secondary effect. I read it so that it's just, it, you know, it's just crap that it's dead. Crap when it's dead, I should have said. Yes, the question is, oh, well, yeah, it's funny. It's funny because obviously I play Magic the Gathering, or used to, and I always enjoyed the, I always enjoyed the, uh, the, the control decks more than the uh, aggro decks. But, um, like, the problem is if you boost tackle, then obviously you've got to, you've got to remove it from dwarves, and also. If you boost tackle, then it's really hard on teams like Brett's that are edge three, relying on dodge, aren't they? Bit of an overcommit to this side, I think. So, the plan is to come this way. Can try and hammer him. No. Oh no, I did, but I have two group. Fair enough. This would be a really good one to make. Shit. Might as well. Got three. Oh, good. 
second second attempt worked wonders. Well, yeah, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Questions and answers. Because the way I look at it is also, I also thought of uh, 40k in terms of questions and answers. And, like, your questions are the units and the answers are the weapons, aren't they, and stuff. So you want to have... You want to have a wide variety of each. And st you, you, you want questions that are all the same, but various answers, don't you, and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's it's tough. It's tough to know what what you could make, how you could buff tackle. I don't know. I really don't know. Because you want all your questions to be the set the same, don't you? Um, because if all of your questions are the same, people just can't have the answers for all of them. Basically. Yeah, like Astro Granite, yeah. Because I've just said, Jalag, like, it's, it's basically the only skill that can be useless. <laughs> one of three skills that can be useless. One, one of the three skills people have bitched about since its inclusion in the game. And... Uh, it's just a bit, but it's so essential because dodge is so good, isn't it? So it's just, I don't know, I just, like obviously you could just tongue down dodge, could be an answer, like to the, to the tackle, but wow, he's just, he's just got his guy in. Wow, he's gone, he's gone mad, he's a madman. I guess toning down dodge would, would do the same thing as buffing tackle. And then tackle could destroy dodge. It can be useless, but you know, it's not completely useless. first glance a stupid pointless GFI there but <laughs> I didn't want him to be able to tag him with the beast without a GFI I don't know the answers mile especially not when I'm trying to game play a game of blood ball at the same time <laughs> um, but I just don't know I just don't know I think And then the danger is, of course, if you do, if you may, if you, like people don't use elves as it is, despite how good elves are at winning games, they're already rarely used. So, do you want them to make? Do you want to make them even less used? Who knows? <laughs> you dirty dingo mile. <laughs> but yeah, Woody's versus Nurgle is is probably like, you know, heavily heavily in favour of the Woodies. I've got no doubt that it's heavily in favour of the Woodies. But he clawed my tree man once in the game. Maybe I should have stayed next to the tree, yeah? Protect the tree. So maybe that maybe that GFI cost me. Ah, but he could have had the guard there, and that guy could have just gone the other side. So 
You could have still got two dice if you wanted it. Banged on hidden mighty blow. Have some of that. Safe one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI, one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. Looks safe to me. Don't want to lose my leader for the second half. <laughs> oh, that'd be brutal, Smoko. <laughs> brutal. Like, it's already sometimes really punishing having d agility four and dodge because you just go for a dodge that you think will work because obviously. One in thirty six to fail is really high. So sometimes um it's a good question, turn ups. I didn't want to roll a one on the block and not be able to punch him. <laughs> and then have to re roll it if I rolled a one and then get a you know, get a ball down here myself. I just thought, you know, keep my guys alive. Maybe I should have scored that turn, actually. Um, for the two shots of the KOs. Nurgle weren't going to score. So actually, maybe I misplayed there. See, even though I was... Uh, even though I was... Miles said I only had to give 10% attention to win. Maybe I really should have scored that turn. Um, for the double KOs. Because I really fucking want the tree, don't I? Want everyone. But I guess I can just score a touchdown now. As, soon, as fast as possible. Which probably means turn 6. <laughs> And then uh, two nil up is plain sailing, isn't it? And I guess eight players should be able to do that anyway. So let's go for. A cheeky, uh, cheeky 2db on a pestigo. And another one. for a touchdown foul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the stunties are, are a bit fucked up because there's no way to uh, to let them use inducement, sadly. Yeah, according to Kano, a terrible idea. Shouldn't have done it. Not everybody in the world would make those blocks. And there's not even star play points to be gained. But... You know, a KOing one if he doesn't come back. A KO that doesn't return or a Kaz is is a huge is a huge thing for winning the game, isn't it? There is two movement six agility three players. Gotta you gotta go for the strength four blitzers as well. And so it's ten versus ten, isn't it? Woody's not being outbashed, unbelievable. Three, six, nine, ten.
go. Something a bit anti blitz. <laughs> Don't know why. <laughs> Semi fucked up. Oh, get banged on. Oh, my God, huge. It's big, it's huge. to score now then. Just beat people up with Wood Elves, why not? <laughs> it's, it's just dumb though, isn't it? That Wood Elves get everything. The fact that they get a strength 6 player, not just a strength 5 big guy like everybody else, they get a strength 6 big guy with Mighty Blow. So like, Getting out bashed by Wood Elves isn't even that unlikely, really, because they can't stop you getting two dice mighty blow blocks, and you, they often can't stop you getting three dice mighty blow blocks. It's just dumb that they get everything. Okay, they don't get claw pump. Skaven really do get everything, because Skaven get, <laughs> get gutter runners and claw pump. So, okay. Technically... <laughs> Technically, it's Skaven that get absolutely everything. But, um, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? It's crazy to get Tree Men as well. But just the whole team for Wood Elves. Like, the thing is, at least, at least Skaven only have four Gutter Runners and two Storm Vermin. But, and kind of get a, they kind of get a uh, Rat Ogre. But like the whole team, every player and what a, what else can be an absolute star, can't it? So Like obviously War Dance is the best player in the game. But <laughs> all of them are pretty good. I just wanna No, I don't wanna block I couldn't block him though. Maybe blitz him to free up him and then run around a bit. Christmas man is coming to town. <laughs> he is. The Christmas town is David Bublé. Is it D Michael Bublé, isn't it? Is the Christmas man. Just literally. Morning Notorious. Yeah, not pro Alpino. See, that's why... That's why I don't like pro elves. <laughs> Because, yeah, the Pro Elf Linos are a bit... Don't get to become megastars like other elves do. Basically.
Yeah, what is the point of dark? That is the eternal question, isn't it? His Majesty Melancholy. That is that is the eternal question, just what is the point? And that's why everybody wants to make them better, because everyone thinks, what the fuck is the point of assassins? But then if you give already a really good team something extra that they don't need, it makes them a bit better, doesn't it? Do they need it? They certainly don't need the assassins, but... I think it would be good if there was a reason to take every position off. But yeah, the Nafland, yeah, Nafland, the assassins aren't so bad. Yeah, to be fair. In Nafland. Runners and assassins both do things. So yeah. That is, that is the answer. Right. There's two movement four players here. There's a movement four player here. There's a movement four player here. So, what that says to me is, um, could make a move down this side. With a cheeky double skulls. Elves are just disgusting, aren't they? There's no, there's no two ways about it. Yeah, the assassins should get star player points for the stab, yeah. I think that was a silly thing that they, they didn't, yeah. Yeah, 8 AV, yeah, then they just wouldn't be... They wouldn't be just worse than alignment, which is their current their current plight. They uh an honour they share with only the mighty the mighty orc thrower. They're actually just worse than alignment. Really risk the blitz with him, so I think just do it with him. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> Fucking wood elves. <laughs> There you go. I went. I went for the greedy surf instead of just scoring. But I figured the ball was safe then. Yeah, I guess I should have just gone for four 0 You're right.
Be interesting, wouldn't it, if if you'd got Lona off the Orc Troll, and uh, if you took Lona off the Orc Troll, and let goblins have three trolls and halflings have three um, trees, and let ogres be not as bad. Like, but then the point is that halflings should be shit, isn't it? So. I should have just scored there, shouldn't I? I'm gone for the three now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, he regen. Crazy dices. Well, I got my surf if I don't fail. I hate the goblin trolls have long. I really hate the goblin trolls have long because it makes sense because the things, all the positionals that you can only have one of have long. And then, so because you can have two halfling trees, they don't have long. That makes sense. But then why do they, uh, like, you know, I, I, I never really occurred to me and again until someone told me that. They were like, I was like, you know, then halfling trees don't have loners because you can have two of them. But, um, I don't think there's, there's a sleeper dicing about this game really, Sinidi. I think it's been pretty, pretty clear dicing. <laughs> I don't think there's any sleeper about it. <laughs> you know, I've, I've got a pow nearly every block. I've got an armor break nearly every block. I've got two Kaz on Pestigors. Uh, ascending off from two fouls. Um, Kaz on him, him not waking up. Getting the KO on him and him not waking up. I think it's been a pretty clear dicing. And I think, uh, apart from this early Kaz, which wasn't really relevant, it's been, the dice have been pretty one-sided. The deep kick and everything. So, yeah, I think it's, the dice have been pretty, pretty clear dicing, to be honest. Not a sleeper dicing at all. Um... Oh, hello, VIP Squirrel Dude. Yeah, um, I just think Goblin Trolls should lose Lona because they're not loners. Um, yeah, what's the long term plan for the NAF ladder? Well, the long term plan for the NAF official division is to have. Um, official NAF tournaments that affect your online NAF ranking take place on Blood Bowl 2 and as a place to play tabletop style pickup games on the internet because there isn't even on Fumble you can't have well you can play friendlies against people you know um, on Fumble so like you know if Pete W could use his his NAF style team in a friendly against me, or Shawnee could use one of his or whatever. But there's not a proper place to like, there's not a matchmaking division for 
NAF style tabletop teams. So it's just a place to play them, play pick up, pick up tabletop games. That's all it is. I mean, Megan, it's it, it could never be the primary place to play Blood Bowl Two, no matter how good it is, because it's not official, is it? Like it's, when I say it's not official, it's not cyanide endorsed official. It could be, it could be third place though, because um, the the forum open league. But Dord run was third place, he said, behind the two official. Well, there was lots of official leagues, wasn't there, on Football 1? Right, I can just go for dumb shit now, can't I? Ah, oh, there's the one. Oh, I should have hit him from the other direction. That was pretty stupid. the one it would be good wouldn't it actually do, do, do you know what man I didn't even think of just doing that <laughs> that would have been the best wouldn't it just get cyanide to make the NAF official one I just thought I'll have to make it myself but I guess I could have just messaged Nethios and said, please will you make a new ladder called NAF Official <laughs> and make it res? Instead of just doing it myself, I didn't even think of asking Nethios. It was pretty fucking stupid, wasn't it? Look at all that stalling and then just herped up. Click on the ball, click on the end zone. Ah, yeah, yeah. But then, you know, there's Dord and his team of admins, so you could say, I could say I've got a team of admins ready, ready to endorse this. And run it just like, just like how Dord runs Champions League. Rolled the one if I'd gone for the GFI. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Boy, I don't even care if he kills my players, it's done, isn't it? I'll just end the turn. Make it quick. <laughs> well, thank you, truly notorious. The NATO does not support your assertion. <laughs> Where did you get that name? It seems pretty anecdotal to me. Brilliant. It seems like it, doesn't it? Lemon is good. This has been, like, you know, obviously, Woodells versus Nurgle. The Nurgle have, with 
equal coaches, the Nurgle will have a very bad time of it. Um, so it was the matchup favoured me immensely. Um, so you know, even if I hadn't been as lucky as this, I still would have felt confident of um, eking out a victory. But it has been a dicing and a half, yeah, for sure. Ridiculous, ridiculous dicing. No, I was skipping. Skip, 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 skip. Every KO rolls come back. Every KO rolls failed. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, pretty shit. If the dice had been the other way around. Nurgle would have had half a chance, wouldn't they? But then that's how it goes, isn't it? Some days... Some days you just roll double ones on the fucking dodges and... Uh, you know... People just fucking throw a rock, kills you ward answer. And all that kind of shit. But someday, sometimes the games are like this and pretty fun. <laughs> See if that had happened turn one. Maybe it goes differently. Kicking a tree down is awesome. Yeah, they would have done. They would have done. They would have. They would have. No good would have needed the luck that I had to win, I think. Pretty much. PLGF next time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheers for the game, Sunity. Um, I mean. That was just brutal, wasn't it? It was brutal. It was a very favourable matchup with ridiculously favourable dice. I was made sixty dodges. I was just making them for fun. A lot of them, to be fair, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have made that many dodges if I. If I, if I wasn't just taking the piss through half. Of it. But then I still had dodge on on loads of them, so. It wasn't that bad to make that many dodges. But yeah, obviously blocks would have been better on a, on a few occasions. I was just making dodges for fun. Failed every single dodge there. But then two of five pluses, weren't they? Seven out of seven GFIs. But, um... The pickup wasn't that bad, one of them, because it was sure hands, wasn't it? So, yeah. It's just... Three GFIs. Just didn't fail anything, did I? Three pickups. Just did not fail a thing, really. And, uh, obviously, beat the fuck out of... Um, beat the fuck out of Nurgle. The only thing going for them is the extra strength and the claw on the uh, beast, which I thought was a decent pick, to be honest. I don't think Sinitiri did anything wrong. Like, you could argue turn two going for the pass was risky. But um, it was just dice when it pretty much robbed any chance the Nurgle had. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.